So now in this video, we are going to use an op amp here, and uh, we have it wired as a non-inverting comparator. So we're setting a reference voltage at the inverting input. That's because the output wants to be more like the non-inverting input. So plus for non-inverting, minus for inverting right there. So our signal is going to the non-inverting input, which means the output is going to want to be more like the signal than the reference voltage. Hopefully that makes sense. So right now the trim pot is uh, towards the negative side, closer to the negative supply than the positive supply. When we get it closer to the positive supply than the negative supply, you can see the red LED lit up. So that's how we know the output's high, because I color coded these LEDs. When the output is low, the blue LED uh, lights up. So we can uh, zoom in and get a closer look. You can see trim pot going to pin number three, our uh, fixed resistance there, so this is a fixed voltage, unless you change the supply voltage. We're using 5 volts. Um, but uh, both these voltages change at the same uh, rate when you change the supply voltage. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what the supply voltage is, the output will be high or low when the trim pot is at the uh, same point. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, the uh, blue LED um, does have a lot less current flowing through it right there, because we have a higher value uh, resistor. And um, one thing to point out is the lower side of the LED is more positive. So that's where I need the longer lead of the LED in order for it to light up. If I put it in backwards, it won't light up. I'm not going to demonstrate that. But there you can see 1000 ohm resistor. Whereas uh, the red LED here, we have uh, from the output, it's headed towards ground. And it doesn't matter which one comes first. Uh, current through series components is the same. So it doesn't matter their order. Um, again, that's more positive when the red LED is lit up because you can see that end of the resistor is going to the negative supply. So um, positive would have to pass through there and then go through the LED the best that it can. Um, the output doesn't go all the way to the positive uh, supply rail, but it should go pretty much all the way to the negative supply rail. That's a, a basic thing there. So of course we also have to power the integrated circuit. That is uh, pin number eight for the uh, n uh, positive supply, and then uh, pin number four for the negative supply. You could also use a split power supply, where uh, pin number four comes to a voltage more negative than ground. Ground would be a halfway point between uh, the two. Um, but I don't really see that many uh, circuits that use split supplies anymore, so I don't make a lot of uh, videos on them. But in any case, that's really about all there is uh, to this circuit. It compares the uh, two voltages, which the op amp always does. But a lot of times it has either positive feedback or negative feedback or both in order to get uh, different uses out of it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.